Hi, I'm Gary Wallersheim. Grace and peace to you. I have a question to ask. When you hear the phrase, God's work our hands, what do you think about? What comes to mind? Here are a few of my thoughts. I begin with a quote by the Reverend Fred Rogers from the Mr. Rogers Parenting Book. He writes, When I was a little boy and something bad happened in the news, my mother would tell me to look for the helpers. You'll always find people helping, she'd say. And I've found that that's true. In fact, it's one of the best things about our wonderful world. Look for the helpers. That's the point. We, the members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, by God's grace, are among the helpers. From Newtown to New Orleans, from New York City to Northern Illinois University, from the Arusha Lutheran Medical Center in Tanzania, to countless points across the globe. We are among the helpers sent from 10,000 congregations of the ELCA to do God's work with our hands. How is this all possible? Well, the Northern Illinois Synod will receive about two and a half million dollars from congregations and individuals in order to do God's work at home and around the world. Of these offerings, 55% go immediately to support church-wide ministries. The largest portion of these mission support dollars is used by the Global Mission Unit for God's work around the world. This means mosquito nets in Tanzania to prevent malaria, establishing support networks for working women in India, and assistance for schools in Palestine. I have visited some of these mission sites and they are literally every day saving lives. As we work together hand in hand with our partner churches in the Lutheran World Federation located in 79 countries around the world. Our Synod then sends another 12% of the offerings to agencies and institutions of the church and to Synod committees for their important work. Lutheran Social Services of Illinois is the largest recipient among church agencies. Responding to the gospel, LSSI brings healing, justice, and wholeness to people and communities. The largest recipient of offerings to Synod committees is the Outreach Committee, which supports new mission congregations, including Lord of Love Lutheran Church, Galena, Freedom Lutheran Church, Oregon, GPS, McChesney Park, Open Arms Lutheran Church, Rockton, Gloria Day Rockford, Iglesia San Jose Obrero, Moline, Resurrection Lutheran Church, Shanahan, and Bridging the Rock Parish, Sterling Rock Falls. One might ask, if two-thirds of mission support dollars are designated for God's work through churchwide agencies of the church and committees, what is the other one-third used for? Answer, it is used to support the work of congregations in the Northern Illinois Synod. One important area in which the Synod supports congregations is during the time of pastoral vacancy. At any given time, there are 20 or more pastoral vacancies among the 152 congregations of the Synod. It is the Synod's responsibility to assist these congregations in finding new pastors. This process begins when a pastor retires or accepts another call. The Synod helps the congregation during this transitional time by providing an opportunity for an exit interview, grief work, mission planning for the next chapter of congregational life, and much, much more. The Synod appoints an interim pastor to care for the congregation until a new resident pastor can be called. We locate candidates to recommend to the congregation for interviews. We advise the Congregational Call Committee and Council about salary guidelines, constitutional requirements, and voting procedures. This all culminates in the call and installation of the new pastor. The support of leaders is also vital in doing God's work through congregations. Some of the ways in which the Synod supports leaders include 
diaconia, congregational resource and event, fall discipleship gatherings, stewardship and evangelism training, congregational conflict resolution, communications, seminary scholarships, educational debt retirement grants for rostered leaders, and much more. Perhaps most importantly in the support of leaders is that the bishop is called to be pastor of the synod. My staff and I take this pastoral responsibility very seriously, and we strive to be faithful in providing word and sacrament and prayer on behalf of our leaders and congregations on a daily basis. Finally, I am grateful and encouraged by how the three expressions of the ELCA, congregations, synods, and churchwide work together to serve God's mission. It is clear that we can do much more together than we can do individually. And it is clear that God's work is being accomplished through the faithful hands of ELCA members, including you. Thank you for being among the helpers. God's work, our hands. In Jesus' name, amen.